During the last two weeks, I have lost 3,000 euros on coin flips alone. Coin flipping is a simple game. You flip the coin, it lands on either heads or tails, and you win or you lose based on what you chose before. In my case, I lose quite a lot, oh, no. so I can't pay rent, I'm living in a cardboard in the street and I'm eating dead rats for lunch and dinner. But that's not my main problem. My main problem is the state of my thumb right now, because I'm hitting the coin at such speeds. So obviously, I took it upon myself to build the ultimate gambling solution for all of you dopamine cracked out addicts out there. What if there's a machine in the Principality of Monaco, one of the holy lands of gambling, that will flip a fancy coin physically for you while you're halfway across the globe gambling your life savings while you're drunk out of your mind in a shady bar. Terrence, how are you gonna do it? It sounds so complicated. Yeah, you how do you know how, where to start? Gonna do it? I'm gonna start with cardboard. That's my fucking pillowcase I've been slipping in since I started gambling. It's good practice to start with cardboard, so if you fuck up, it's not too expensive. You take the cardboard, you throw away the cardboard, you finish your drink. Mm, yum. Ooh, that looks, that looks sharp. Grab a piece of fucking scissors, you cut the whole thing around, take the solenoid out of your pocket, put a tiny little hole in the cup, put in the solenoid, and put whatever coin you want on top of it. All right. And after that, you make sure to check that the solenoid is 12 volt so that you can grab your favorite nine volt battery. No, that doesn't make sense. Then you get the cardboard back. Will you forgive me? Make a hole inside of it, put it on top. Most important part of it, you take your nine volt battery and you're gonna connect the two pins directly to the nine volt battery. Whoa. But Terrence, the coin flip was so weak, it reminded me of an old guy's boner. I hear you saying that. I also hear you saying that I'm gonna need to do more if I want you to flip my coin. And that's why I took an ungodly amount of time to design and to print and to then code and do the electronics for this simple design. Whoa, such complicated. So now that we've established that this is a design masterpiece, that you love it and that you also love the video and you're gonna like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Let's establish how it works. Hey, hold on a minute. This fuckface is going to talk to you about relays and solenoids without telling you what they are. A relay is basically a small switch to which you apply a low voltage to control a high voltage appliance, not to burn the low voltage microcontroller like the Raspberry Pi. And then a solenoid is a coil to which you apply current. When current goes through it, an electromagnetic field makes the rod go up and down. You're welcome. I set up a web page on my computer and a server. The Raspberry Pi is connected to the server. Every time I click on this button, it will send a request to the server. The Raspberry Pi will fill it and it will tell to the relay, pump the solenoid full of delicious 12 volt juice. Ooh, and it will flip the coin. Wow. wow. Oh, congratulations. Now we have multiple design flaws. First of all, the coin just fell. There's nothing to protect it. It's too small. Just like you did. Also, <laughs> it doesn't bring it back to the center. And we're going to fix it together. Let's go. So after a good night of sleep, it's time to fix some design. Get yourself a big glass of breakfast. Then hate yourself for 10 hours on the CAD software. Grab some filament, make sure it's extra dry, wash your mouth and hit print. The prototype works, amazing, good job. Then get some better filament and scale up. What happens? It fucking fails, so destroy it. Try again, cry. Wanna kill yourself? Print the twin towers. Oh shit! Then you send the whole thing, get a good sniff of it and then it's time for assembly. <laughs> And that's a week of work. But the design is insane. Look at those colors. Look at the functionality. It's pretty fucking amazing. It's wider. It brings it back to the center. And how did I get the idea for the blades? Well, you see, the person I've talked to the most since I started gambling is you. And you look like this. There's aperture blades on you. When they close, there's less light. When they open, there's more light. And that's how I figured it out. Less light, more light, less light, more light. Anyways, it might just be one of the coolest things you'll ever experience. But don't just take my word for it. I got a new one. This one is good. Again? I swear it's good this Bro, time. It's like five times I, I mean, I mean, this one is this no, one is, on, is amazing. It's a job, I swear. Man. Find a girlfriend. A <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be know. great. Fuck it. Just, fuck it. Just fuck it. Let me in. You're at home. You have decision to make. Very important. Very not important. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that this machine will flip the coin for you. And and if I click on the button on my phone, it will basically flip the coin. And then so it breaks it back to the center with the blades. It's cool, right? So you build all of that? Uh -huh. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just to flip a coin. So if the average individual cannot understand my unhealthy and obsessive interest with this machine, how am I gonna do it? How am I gonna showcase it to the world and show how useful it can be? And then it hit me. How do tech startups do it? How does Sam Altman just show pictures of his ass and everyone just screams for it? They use big words. So I'm gonna use big words. I'm gonna use one of these, uh, this one. I'm gonna use machine learning. Follow me. This is a Pi camera. It plugs into the Raspberry Pi with the proprietary port and the proprietary cable. And any image captured by this camera can be used for computer vision and machine learning. And I used this very simple hardware and this monstrosity. I destroyed the tripod by gluing the camera under and the Raspberry Pi on top. 
every time the machine will flip a coin, it will take a picture. You want to see how it works? So I get the web page in my phone. When I click it, the coin flips. When I click it, the coin flips. Yeah, then the Raspberry Pi takes a picture and sends it to the server. And there it is. It's blurry. So I started looking for replacements, but that was just too much money. And that's when I found the Bible of Raspberry Pi, according to which I just have to remove the glue from the Pi cam and unscrew it to change the focus. So it flips the coin and then it turns it into grayscale, so it's easier to analyze. It's then going to check for any circle on the image. And that's the hole for the solenoid. <laughs> so I pressed random keys on my keyboard and tried again. So now it recognizes any circle above a certain diameter. Then it crops that image into that tiny image which is very easy to send to the server. The server is where our machine learning model lives. The machine learning model is then going to magically know which side is heads and which side is tails. <laughs> That's not true. This is footage of me yesterday night labeling over 400 coin flips by hand to train the model. It was miserable. Anyways, based on the training data, the model is going to give us a prediction. And in our case, it fucking works! It works, man! I didn't spend all that time for nothing! Oh, yes! Now that's all fine and dandy, Andy, but it's not gonna solve my diarrhea, and it's also not gonna solve the fact that I need to share the robot with the world. So initially I thought of setting this one up, but I actually need it on Sundays for my minion reviews. He has a very Nazi core haircut. This reminds me of someone. <laughs> so instead I got the security camera off of Amazon for $15. It looks good, right? It's a nice ad, right? You liked it, but don't get fooled by it. This is a piece of shit. I tried multiple new protocols, plugging it in directly to the computer, so you get instantaneous coin flips at home, like promised. But this shit only support the RTSP protocol, namely the 1998 protocol with three seconds of delay. Now it's not such a big deal, because the machine learning algorithm also takes a few seconds to process the images. So if I adjust the delay and deliciously lie to your face, it will look simultaneous at home. Now what's a big deal about this camera is that it can record up to 2K video format. And why is that important? Because I'm not using just any coin for the coin flipping machine. Oh no, I'm using the fanciest fucking coin you've ever seen in your entire fucking life. This is a commemoration coin from the Monaco government to celebrate the 100th birthday of the previous prince. It was given to all Monaco nationals. And it's valued at a whopping 1,000 euros. Now this is a big deal. I could buy myself a 2012 Nissan Altima or a one-way plane ticket to Epstein Island. But that's only if it remains in its cover in its protective plastic. In the event where it gets taken out of it and for example gets uh, repeatedly hit by a solenoid, it would lose most of its value. So this is the final setup. It looks like a crack then. I know, I built it. This is the webcam, this is the coin flipper, there's a light here, and you see everything in direct. What I haven't told you is that it's already connected to YouTube. And I have a friend here who's going to flip the coin only through the chat of YouTube. Flip it. Heads? Wow. You won? Did you say head? <laughs> you won again? Were you ever in tough situation, like choosing how to spend your pocket money, or whether or not to unplug grandma, or choosing who smokes the last rock of crack, but you don't have a coin on end? Well, boy, do I have the solution for you. Go to the Terrence Grover YouTube channel live, enter exclamation point tails or heads, and watch a coin worth a thousand euros flipping for you in real time. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment to get uh, the 1,000 euro coin, which is most likely not 1,000 euro anymore. Leave a positive one, because I'll be running a sentiment analysis program to check whether it's positive or negative. If it's negative, get fucked. If it's not, if it is positive and you're subscribed, you'll be among the people that will be eventually picked to get the coin.